So since I was last on YouTube, quite a lot has happened. Um, did the whole Olympic thing, went to Tokyo, competed at the Olympic Games, which was pretty cool, but also definitely a roller coaster. Um, came home, got married, got pregnant, had a baby. Yeah! Had knee surgery. Well, both knees, so I had two knee surgeries. And yeah, went and climbed that dam in Switzerland, which is pretty crazy with Red Bull. And then just been rehabbing and getting back to full time climbing outside. Finally, been waiting years for this. Coming back from my knee surgery and from pregnancy, I wanted to have an outdoor related goal. And we came up with the idea to try and find the best 57s in the UK. So, graded, folders graded from 7A to 70 plus, so V6 to V10. Um, and try and go to loads of different places around the UK because I've not done much outdoor climbing with focusing so much on competing. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now is to go scour the UK for the best 57s. Getting the list of 50 boulders is really difficult and 50 best boulders is even harder because these are going to be what are my best 57s in the UK which will be different for every person. I think you know, there's going to be boulders we miss out, whether it's because I can't reach them or because my knees can't hack them at the minute, having like having had the two knee surgeries recently. And I think there's also boulders we're not including because they have way too much traffic. We need to be conscious of how much the crags are being used at the minute. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be hard because there are just so many good boulders to fit in, but we're only choosing the top 50 on my top. We're starting the 50 best boulders in the Peak District because it's local to me. Sheffield is such an amazing city for being able to get out on rock. Um, and this whole project is kind of making me get out more. That's my reason for doing it, I think. Today we're at Frogger, which is about 15 minutes drive from my house, which is pretty cool. So my darling husband has just ran back to the car to see if my climbing bag is there because <laughs> it isn't here. <laughs> hey. Is it there? <laughs> that wasn't even planned. Mm. I love you. I have my climbing bag. <laughs> at least it wasn't at home. <laughs> so the first boulder today is Last Slipper, which is this really sharp, cool arete um, with pretty minimal holds and it forces you to lay back and climb really delicately on some quite bad footholds. Ah! My foot popped. Um, and then you go up to a jug, which is where it finished, and then I decided to try and top it out, but yeah, it's kind of dirty and scary up there. Um, so, took a while down climbing. Oh, it's a nice boulder problem. Now what? You have to come down. Can I go up? You can keep going up if you want. That's good. Drop. Well. Good job, we're Glass slipper is in my top 50 because it's just a nice movement into kind of precarious holds and yeah, the movement's cool. And it looks cool as well. It's like on, a, on the crag and it stands out as a climb that you look at and want to go and try. Old King Cascade is this bulge feature, I guess. It's right by the river in a really cool setting, really pretty. Um, and then the climbing is super physical. It's all like heels and squeezing um, and a bit of groveling at the top. And it looks like it's gonna be quite dabby, so you might hit the rock next to it, but it doesn't climb like that at all. Um, and it's definitely 
one that's in my top 50 because of the style of climbing and it being so different to you know like the delicate kind of balanced climbing and it's just super physical but you have to know where the holds are hit them right use your feet really well so you still have to use your body and climb well on it but in a totally different way to a rep climbing Old King Cascade is in my top 50 because the setting is beautiful, the climbing is really cool, it's super powerful and interesting, and I really enjoyed it, so yeah, putting that one in for sure. Next, we've got Captain, which is this climb behind me here. It's weird you're climbing up this squeezy prow feature mostly on pretty bad slopes and having to reach down and then compress um, admittedly maybe sunshine isn't the best time to climb this because it's quite friction dependent um, but it was so fun to climb and took a little bit to figure out the right hand placements and foot placements um, but you can kind of get really physical and squeeze up it I guess similar to Old King Cascade in some ways but this is just no trickery, you just have to squeeze and beef your way up it, I guess. Which I kind of like. Captain is in my top 50 because it's cool. It stands out from the crag, it's this cool feature. Um, and the climbing is physical but interesting and yeah it's not scary as well which is normally with big squeezy prows they're kind of scary but this one's like a cute little squeezy prow in a good way Um, today we're at the Eagle Stone, um, which is in Badlow, and it's like perched on top of the crag. It's a really cool location, the rock's super rough, like quite unique, um, and the climbing style is quite vertical, but really interesting movements. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can clean it up and get climbing on it. So we're now at 
Bin Laden's cave, which is this really cool rock behind me. Um, it's seven A, and it's one of the coolest seven A's I've ever done. I thought it was going to be too reachy at first. It's like this really big slap at the beginning. You like build your feet on the scoop. Um, grab the jug to. I went to a small edge and then kind of udge right up and then slap to the lip. Then it's just these beautiful slopers um, that you like work your way along with the heel and like the toe scum squeezing um, until you get to this glory jug, which every climb should end on a nice big jug. This one is in my top 50 because it's just so cool. Like it looks impressive, it climbs really nicely and what more could you want? The reason why I wanted to do this 50 best sevens in the UK was to get a good tour of the UK, go to areas I hadn't been before, but also to kind of reintroduce myself to rock climbing after the whole Olympic journey and being so focused on competing for so long. It felt like I needed to kind of get my eye in with rock climbing again. So this 50 best was to kind of force me to get out on the days that didn't look absolutely perfect, to get used to going to the crag with a baby and really learn how to go rock climbing again. And the first few days it was I was a little tentative, kind of felt like I didn't know where I stood with rock climbing, I needed to relearn how to climb on rock because it's so different to climbing in the gym um, and also know where I'm at with it as well physically um, and then the difference between the first session and then today climbing is like worlds different, I feel so much more comfortable and happy and good to be on rock and less nervous about it I guess. Um, but maybe that's just the weather, day one it was snowing and gross and I do not like the cold and then today it's glorious and sunny and most people don't like climbing on gritstone in the sunshine but I do. <laughs>